Right here, engineering, graphics, and design learners. I've always had this secret desire to become a weatherman. I now thought, let me give it a try. Right here. Okay, this is just a joke. I'm really not going to be the weatherman today. I'm actually going to show you things that's going to blow your mind in understanding what this year is all about and how to get the most marks possible for your engineering, graphics, and design. So your end of the year mark is totaled out of 400. All right, that 400 marks needs to come from somewhere. And it comes from four different places. The first one is your school-based assessment. That is all the work that you'll be doing in this year. All the tests, all the exams that you're writing in this year. That's the first 100 marks. The second 100 marks is your PAT, your practical assessment task. Now, whichever grade you're in, 25% of your year mark comes from that PAT. So you need to absolutely nail it. The third 100 marks comes from your paper one in November. It's going to be a hundred mark paper and you'll have to get as many of those marks as possible. The fourth 100 marks comes from your paper two end of this year in November. So those four, your SBA, your PAT, your November one and November two, compiled together gives you a total of 400 marks and in the end is converted to a percentage. Why am I sharing this with you? Because if you know that, you'll understand what's the hack here. The hack is to really work hard on your school-based assessment, those class tests, the drawings that you do for marks with your teachers, and your actual exams. That's 25% of your marks. And so if you work hard towards that, you're going to build marks going into your finals. The second hack, of course, is your PAT. Listen, there's no reason not to absolutely nail your PAT. You have a PAT document with checklists that tells you exactly what you need to do to get the optimum marks. And I've had kids really in the high 90s over the years, some even gaining 100%. That's a full 25% of their PAT mark. So if you get your SBA high mark with your PAT high mark, you're really set to nail your November exams. Because of course, all of that preparation will make you a better draftsman. And so when you sit down for a November exam, you'll be able to really do well. Okay, that's a quick overview. I've shared that with you in a previous video, but this video I thought, let me do it a little bit more creative. There's some more creative videos coming up on this channel and behind the scenes, photos, updates, etc. Thank you for watching. I'm off. I need to make more videos. You need to make sure you watch the next one. Cheers.